start and iron shell on on him and if he ever gets ahead let's say his phase drums and like they have a killer to advantage mm -hmm. and now if he cannot force him back really quickly he's going to just kill early on kind of kind of thing unless unless they just kind of walk into and misplay or dive uh, oh, two minute skirmish. runes coming up and remember, he's got a haste rune there's the breathe fire chasing him down he's going to choose the dazzle to try to get onto kinetic field is on point and Soneko stomped down nice. and slain by Solo, who draws first blood. So Vega off to a great start, and that's what they need. And I think most importantly, the Pugna just needs to farm towards the mech. So around that time where they get the mech's tombstone, the mech, probably the Bloodseeker ultimate, that's where they look to go. But here we go. Oh, top is the top. Two caught out. Art Style and Funnick getting all the damage. Art Style is going to be dropping shortly, but they may get the Ember. If they can track him down, he's going to round the corner and make it back to home safely. There's a nice grave. Art Style doesn't have a TP, though, so it's only buying time. And down he goes as Chen brings him down. They're unable to track down the Disruptor. Ends up being a one for nil in favor of Vegas. So where Vegas? That will just wipe you. They'll yep. sk spam a couple of decays. The zombies start to stack up. Dazzle comes in, gets off a grave and a heal. Navi really excels in those prolonged fights, and that's where Vega, ideally, you want to quickly burst a hero down. They aren't looking for a move bottom lane. They're so aggressive. They're so, they're so far forward. Here we go. There's the net. He's going to catch the boast. There will be a glimpse, but that's just going to send the boast a little further back, trying to find a way to stay alive. In the meantime, they can't kill him. Yeah. He's doing so much damage. That's a remarkable. Ate so much damage here. They do bring in no one. He's trying to track them down. Doesn't have dragon form because he did use it earlier in mid and now. There's the rupture, and DK can do nothing but stare at his own death. And then it builds there, Funnick coming in to try to clean this up. This is exactly what you were talking about, LD. Maybe a little over aggressive. And a solo oh, great grave! Soul Rift probably would have kept him alive, but the grave was on point. Auto attacks on the way, regardless of if the soul gra uh, the stun to break uh, to break the life drain because he had already used the chains earlier. Mm -hmm. And then it looks like he's getting low. He gets soul ripped back up. Slaw this time, Bloodseeker slowly running in. Oh, coil on Mag. He's gonna try to TP away. It's gonna break when he goes back to the well, oh. and he dies with the snap yep. in the well. Well played. So once again. And e like, even if all Navi accomplishes is running them back to their own towers, that's going to be a win for them. They need to be getting more value out of this early trap. Yeah, he's going in. Yeah, let's see. Yep, did. <laughs> a little doofy play there from there was, there was no mana on Sonico, actually. Yeah. He just had the grave mana now. And oh, there's the chain. Oh, oh yeah, this is going to be a grave on the Sonico. And the zombie house is down as well. Navi should go come full. Continuing this fight. Art style needs a bit of damage, but now they can't go. No oh, he's decrept. There's going to be Chim blowing the heel and trying to keep his team alive. Funnick a little overextended. Will be caught from behind. Dragon Tail's there. Kinetic Field, don't work. There's going to be the change as well. But Eddie. Hey, these zombies just doing so much work. There's the rupture. No one's going to go down. Tima on the run. TP out. Close call. Almost dies as well. They were 4v5. They're puck. Yeah. Dendi jumps in, <laughs> he gets dragon tailed, and he just dies. to 20 minutes now, so this is not working. Like, And we actually see a preemptive weave onto Navi, so they're going to try to make a run at someone. Looks like it's going to be no one, and he's going to be caught going for this rune. They have Disruptor here, but there's too many heroes to get a full glimpse back. Dendi's going to coil him. Does he try for the TP out? Uh, one out, and Seema breaks the coil. He may just drop the kinetic field and run the hell away. Funny has the rupture. Oh, got him! Nice. Wonderfully played as the rupture combined with well, that pretty well. The the aftermath of oh. the, the kill there. The damage is done just by the ward alone. And now Art Style way up front, kind of out in front of his team. It's just him and Avost here, so Art Style's gonna end up dead. And Avost taking a big chance to try to come out. He mech, but I'm pretty sure he was out of range and he was hiding in the tree line. If he gets the mech off there, I think it's a different fight. They are chasing no one. The zombies stack up. The tombstone was one hit from death, but they didn't finish oh. it. Bloodseeker coming in, swooping in from behind. There's gonna be the coil. He's gonna manage to run up hill, for the solo off. And they already killed the Dragon Knight as well. And it's easy to forget just how unbelievably strong Thirst can be. No reason not to. They can, they can just slow this down as much as they want. Um, the, you know, if you keep Vega pinned up as far behind as they as they are Guys, just an item development, you can set and pull back and reset all you want. Oh, they want to kill off this Nether Ward here. Could be to crap a five, and it will be. Now the ruptures are coming out, and this keeps on running. Managed to get the ring. Didn't engage this. They're going to try to go on this. There's going to be the chin. We'll try to get everyone back up to speed. Blood Ride is there, and that's going to get at least one. In the meantime, Navi wisely, I think, choosing not to go too far uphill. They do end up losing Art Style in the meantime. And uh, can Art Style really committing that tombstone there's a bit of a mistake he got way too far out front lost the tombstone lost his life and now there's going to be a glimpse back that's going to be Seneco 
And that's an easy kill. Oh, Vega just completely dismantling this point. The Ghost will be on the way out now. Scurrying backwards. Dendi still holds the Aegis here, but he doesn't have his ultimate anymore. Army dropped in the earlier game. And Ghost trying to life trade his way to freedom, but he gets stunned by the Dragonite. Focused and brought down. Chase onto Solo. That's a fast Bloodseeker, though. He might clean everyone up. He's gonna get Zemo. Oh, well, he's not done yet. Looking for a fourth kill. It's a triple for Funnick. Is he really diving Hive Drown? I don't think that's the play here. Oh, Dendi. Top of the Dragon Tail, but Funnick's right there behind him. Gonna try to, yep, run right him away at the very, very This is 700 attack. plus move speed blood. Will come apart. Tier 3 down. BKB is now up on the dragon. At the very least, there's gonna be a blood right. Uh, that will actually... I didn't see if it got the Ember. Anyway, they're gonna engage. Now the ward is down. Yeah. Just gotta keep Pavost alive here. That's the goal. Don't let the tombstone die either. And Volvo continue sieging Aaron. Blasting out, knowing the Range Rex is dropping dangerously low. Dendi's popped an Invis, and I don't think they know it. He's waiting for the perfect pull. He sees three together. He might go any second. And holding it, holding it. There it is! Manic is connect green. He got a three-man silence. BKBs go off, though. Doesn't matter. The damage is just too intense. Funnick this time. Way up in front. Artsmile once again will end up dropping. The Dragonite and his fresh BKB is turning out to be a problem. So Vega with two buybacks expended. Need to make this worthwhile. Glyph on Funnick. He's brought back to the high ground. He will be great. That speed, though, rushing out and keeping himself alive. Dindy's going to phase shift out. And in the meantime, Vega do manage to hold things together at least a little bit, but Na'Vi, not quite done. That's a double buyback, though. They had to commit heavily to hold this, and now Pavos coming back in. There's the chains on Dindy. He still holds the Aegis, mind you. He has Hex gold as well. They just had not had a chance to go to the damn shop, and they finally blast the thing down. They complete the Vanguard on the Undying. Overall, a net worth swing in Navi's favor concerning the buyback. So, Post being pursued here, but there's just no way they're killing him off. He's gonna life drain the Wildkin as a little <laughs> retaliation. Doesn't actually smoke, though, Aaron. They want to initiate this fight. They only got Dindy there, coming from the north. He's got no one already down the half. No sneaky piece go off on both sides. Static Storm caught no one of value. And now coming back in is Mag. Mag looking for anything he can do to get into the fight. Artstyle wandering through. Vega do deploy. It's a massacre. Solo's on the run. They've already brought down two. The zombies are stacking up. Fun at getting really aggressive here. They try to bring him down. They can't do it. No one will fall as well. Mag on the retreat out. And it all really started with Dendi instantly getting a blink silence coil out. Dragonite did. And the three down. Don't know what they can do. They look at buyback. Yeah, buyback's aren't even available if they want it. This one is coming back up as his chin right about now. They're gonna have to wait another 10 seconds for the Dragonite though, and that's a long 10 seconds of damage to these buildings. Ovos continuing to use the Nether Blast. And there was a sit back, I heard it. Oh, oh wow. Uh oh. He's in trouble. Trying to keep him alive. Is he gonna move? Yep, he's gonna be able to stay alive in the meantime. Beautiful vacuum that time, but no follow up. Combo not on point. Huge missed opportunity, and now no one coming in. Doesn't have Dragon Form for 30 seconds, though. The zombies clawed at him, and GG well played. Ouch. 18 to 10, 27 minute GG. That was. I feel like Dendi's the MVP of this game. Yep. All of his initiations were on point. The supports did their job. Art still dropped the tombstone effectively. There was that one fight bottom where him and uh, Sandiko single-handedly kept uh, Havost alive.